Amen. You may be seated. Our sermon today comes to us from the book of Acts, as we do continue on in the book of Acts. So you know, Paul has been arrested, and uh, he was in great danger in Jerusalem. There were plots against his life. Uh, the Sanhedrin would like nothing more than to see him at this point put to death so that he could no more spread the news of the gospel to the Jews in the dispersion. They were directly opposed to his efforts to, to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world. And especially, they were opposed to the integration of the Gentiles into the kingdom. That to them seemed impossible and awful, that the shadows would pass away and that the light would appear, that the Lord Jesus Christ would be true. And for many, uh, the Sadducees particularly, that would include the high priest, the gospel was an offense also because in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, they had living proof of the truth of resurrection. And the Sadducees, of course, denied the resurrection. They denied the supernatural. They were the theological liberals of their time, although they were particularly uh, nasty to Paul. They, they, uh, they were attacking him from a position of denying all of the supernatural things that the Lord Jesus Christ had brought about, and most especially, of course, the resurrection of Christ, and then our resurrection in Christ. They denied that uh, strongly. But Paul has been now taken uh, by escort to Felix, the governor of Judea. He's been uh, carried away from those assassins who were going to do him harm. And the Lord uh, has shown that he is going to continue to protect his servant, come what may. But before we go to the word of God and we read about Paul's defense before Felix, let us go ahead and seek his face and ask for his help. Please join me. 